As for the next point which Imam al barbahari Allah brings, point number 52, وَإِخْلَاسُ well, الْأَمَلِ لِلَّهِ And to make one's deeds purely and sincerely for Allah. Shaykh Al-Fazan said, making one's deeds purely and sincerely for Allah, such that there is no shirk in it. So Allah will not accept any action except that which is done purely and sincerely for His face, having no shirk in it, no association of others along with Him in it. And this is one of the two conditions for an action to be acceptable. And the second condition is al mutabaa So first is ikhlas, ikhlas al amal, making an action purely and sincerely for Allah alone, with no shirk in it. Said the second condition is al mutabaa following the, mess- the example of the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, in doing that action. So the second, second condition is al mutabaa following of the Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Shaykh Bazar said, and acting upon the Sunnah, such that the action is in conformity with the Sunnah of Allah's Messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, such that it does not contain bid'ah, innovation. Because Allah does not accept innovations, rather He punishes for them. So even if a person <coughs> exhausted himself in doing deeds which he did not make purely and sincerely for Allah, then they will be like scattered, they will be scattered dust. And if a person exhausted himself in doing a deed, which was not in conformity with the Sunnah, then it will be rejected and it will not be accepted, except along with these two conditions, al ikhlas lillah that is done purely and sincerely for Allah alone, al mutabah lil Rasul sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and it's done in conformity with the Sunnah of Allah's Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Sheikh said. وَقَالُوا قَوْتِنَا آيَا وَقَالُوا لَنْ يَدْخُلَ الْجَنَّةَ إِلَّا مَنْ كَانَ هُودًا أَوْ نَصَارًا تِلْكَ أَمَانِيُّهُمْ قُلْ هَاتُوا بُرْمَانَكُمْ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ صَادِقِينَ بَلَا Shaykh wrote the ayah, it's ayahs 111 and 112 from Surah Al-Baqarah, the second surah. So he quotes the first ayah with explanation. And they said, no one will enter the people of the book. They said, no one will enter paradise except for one who is a Jew or a Christian. That is their false hope. Say, bring your proof if you are speaking the truth. Bala, the explanation, rather, the chef said, rather, this is to refute what they negate. So, Bala, rather, the opposite is the case. This is to refute what they are negating. Meaning it will be entered by man aslam wa wajhahum lillahi wa huwa muhsinun falahu ajruhum inda rabbi wa la khawfun alayhim wa la hum yahzanun Surah Al-Baqarah, same surah, the, the next ayah, ayah 212, with the explanation But it will be entered by whoever submits his face to Allah and he, he is a doer of good then his reward will be with his Lord and there will be no fear upon them nor will they grieve. Sheikh Fazan said, explaining these phrases in the ayah, Man aslama wajhahu lillah. Literally, whoever submits his face to Allah, Sheikh Fazan said, meaning, he makes his deeds purely and sincerely for Allah. Wa huwa muhsinun, literally, and he's a doer of good, one who perfects his worship. Sheikh Fazan said, meaning, one who is following the messenger, and this applies to everyone, the Jews and the Christians and the rest of the world. It must be with these two conditions, al-ikhlas wa mutaba. So this deed must be with purity and sincerity of Allah and with following of the Messenger.